big changes are coming into AWS certification. SysOps Administrator certification is being retired and replaced by a brand new CloudOps Engineer Associate. In this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about this certification. What's changing, what's new, why AWS made this move, and what does it mean for you? Let's get going. AWS is essentially rebranding its SysOps Administrator Associate certification to CloudOps Engineer Associate. But this isn't just a simple name change. They are updating the content to reflect how cloud operations has evolved. The exam code is changing from SOAC02 to SOAC03. And to be clear, this is not just a renaming. While the core domains remain, the exam now better aligns with modern cloud operations. It's richer, broader, and more relevant. And here is the timeline that matters. On September 9, registration has already opened for the new CloudOps Engineer Associate Certification exam. September 29 will be the last date when you will be able to take the old SysOps Administrator exam. And on September 30, the new CloudOps Engineer Associate exam goes live. AWS says that this change reflects the evolving nature of cloud operations and the shift in industry terminology. And honestly, they are right. The term SysOps Administrator feels a bit outdated when you look at what cloud professionals actually do today. Today, we are orchestrating containers with ECS and EKS, managing multi-account and multi-region architectures, implementing infrastructure as a code, and working with modern monitoring and automation tools. The cloud engineer title better captures the reality of modern cloud operations roles, and it also has word cloud in its title. And now let's talk about the exam format. And here's good news. First of all, it is still an associate level exam, which is not as hard as specialty or professional. The basic structure stays the same. 65 total questions, 50 scored and 15 unscored. Multiple choice and multiple response questions. 130 minutes to complete. 720 out of 1000 passing score. And you can take it either at person view testing centers or through online proctoring at home. Now who should take this? Let's have a look what AWS exam guide has to say. The target candidate should have one year of AWS operations experience, one year in a related operations role, familiarity with at least one scripting language, understanding of networking concepts, and knowledge of monitoring and troubleshooting techniques. And here I actually agree with AWS. To be able to pass a CloudOps engineer exam, I do recommend you to have some experience working with AWS. But even if you don't have a cloud in your work title, you still can gain this experience by labbing at home. So make sure to get your hands dirty. And now let's dig into what AWS has added into the mix for the new exam. Topics now include container technologies like Docker, Kubernetes, Amazon ECS, EKS, and Fargate. Modern monitoring tools like Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus, AWS Managed Grafana, enhanced CloudWatch dashboards across multiple accounts and regions. Advanced networking, AWS Network Firewall, multi-account and multi-region architecture focus. Infrastructure as a code, AWS CDK Cloud Development Kit, now explicitly included. And more emphasis on CloudFormation automation. And important to know that AWS didn't remove any content. The new exam includes everything from the old one, but the outline is more detailed and better organized. And now let's talk what should you do. If you already have an active SysOps Administrator certification, then you don't do anything. Doing nothing. As long as it is valid, you keep the certification. You don't need to recertify. You will not get updated badge. It will still say SysOps Administrator. And when it is time to renew it, you will have to take the new CloudOps Engineer Associate exam. If you are now studying for the SysOps Administrator exam, bear in mind that the last date you can take it is 29th of September. 29. So if you are closer to the end of your studies, then do hurry and take it before the 29th of September. If you have just started or are in the middle and won't make it, then better get prepared for the new exam. The good news is that this exam is not rewritten from scratch. The vast majority of its material still is based on the SysOps Administrator. So whatever course you are going through, continue. Continue. Force providers are updating their courses as we speak. So don't worry, the time you have spent on preparing for the SysOps Administrator exam is not lost. All is not lost. Another way to obtain this certification if you have an active SysOps Administrator certification is to pass DevOps Engineer Professional exam. 
If you pass it, you will get CloudOps Engineer Associate automatically. Yay! And the same story is valid for people who have an active DevOps Engineer Professional and want to renew it. But don't forget that you have to renew it while you have SysOps Admin Associate active. Active. If your SysOps Administrator certification has expired, you will have to take the CloudOps Engineer. Now how to prepare for this brand new certification? Let's have a look what AWS has to say. On their Skill Builder platform, they have exam prep plans specifically for this certification. And as you can see, it is pretty thorough. It is 16 hours and 30 minutes long. It has a lot of lectures and trainings, but bear in mind that you will need a subscription to get access to all of them. But it is not that expensive, and if you can make it within one month, you will be shy of only $29. But you don't have to use AWS Skill Builder. Like I said, this certification is mostly based on the previous one. And there are a lot of resources like Udemy or Pluralsight that already have a SysOps admin course. And they are updating it literally as we speak. As we speak. So pick anyone you like. Learn hard. Hard. Practice. Practice. And you will succeed. Great success. I really hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Good luck to all of us. And may the cloud be with you. Always.